Yesterday, I'm going to uh, get into one of the trickier statements that John actually talks about over and over again. And so, uh, if you're if you're looking it up and you're referencing it, we're in First John chapter three, and this is verse twenty-two and twenty-three. So let me just read that, and it, and what I'm going to read to you may not match your Bible because. It's a, it's an amalgamation of my own translation with the ESV. So I'm just because I'm trying to make it just as clear as possible. And sometimes it sounds a little awkward. And whatever we ask, we receive from him since we keep his commandments and do what is pleasing before him. And this is his commandment, that we believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he gave us command. So like I said, it probably doesn't match word for word what's in your translation because I'm trying to uh, do it as literally as possible. So let's just take this slowly because this is beneficial for all of Christian life. For, for reading everything in scripture, this is really helpful to understand. Uh, so, since we keep his commandments and do what is pleasing before him. Now, a conscientious Christian says right away, well, wait a minute, I, I don't do what he commands. I don't do uh, what he says now now so just take a take a brief tap the brakes right there uh, it's not talking about doing or fulfilling his commandments that's a that's a completely different language it's be since we keep his commandments and do what is pleasing before him and this is his commandment that we believe. The word keeping is tereo. And it's a it's used a lot by the Apostle John. Keeping the commandments of Jesus is not the same thing as fulfilling them, as completely fulfilling what they mean. That's that those two things don't belong in the same statement. Keeping means that literally it means to watch over, pay attention to. Now, there's a big difference between paying attention to what Jesus says, uh, watching what Jesus says, uh, put, putting your eyes on it, putting your ears on it, paying attention to what Jesus says and everything that Jesus says. There's a big difference in that than fulfilling it. Uh, by your doing or my doing, we complete what it means. That's not what John is saying. John is talking about the, the behavior of faith. The way faith behaves is that it hones in on Jesus by listening by paying attention, by guarding, by keeping his word, his commandments. His commandments are anything he says. Anything Jesus says authoritatively that is that is that ob obligates us is a commandment, even if it's a promise. So don't think of commandments as solely uh, do this, don't do that. Uh, no, when Jesus says believe in me, that's a commandment. That's an authoritative statement. And for us to keep it means we pay attention to that. Now, 
And every Christian does that. Every Christian keeps the commandments of Jesus. Every Christian does because that's just what faith does. Uh, once again, I'm not saying we fulfill it, but we do listen. We pay attention to it. Why? Because God's seed, that's from verse 9 in the same chapter, God's seed, God's word, God's spirit lives in us. And it gives us a conscience so that we can't just disregard the things that our Lord says. We just can't do that because that word in us, the spirit in us, governs our conscience so that we pay attention to God's word. All right. So that's probably as uh, heady a thing as you wanted to get into this morning. Uh, so I'll drop you off there. But God bless you as you meditate on this very thing. Until tomorrow, the Lord bless you and keep you.